In the previous video, we have learned a fundamental definition. And that fundament fundamental definition is that the derivative of y with respect to x is actually very simple. It is just the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches to 0. So in this video, let's go ahead and uh, find the steps, now discuss the steps in determining the derivative of a function. Okay, so first step. So first, let's say we have y as a function of x. We want to get the derivative of y with respect to x. So the first step we, uh, that we are going to do is you have to change y to y plus delta y nx to x plus delta x. So if we apply that to our, our uh, y is equal to a function of x, it will now become y plus delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x. Okay? So next step. Next step is to solve for delta y. So how do we do that? We simply transpose y to the right side of the equation. So we now have delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x minus y. And y is equal to f of x. So let's go ahead and substitute. So f of x plus delta x minus f of x. Let's go to our third step. The third step is the most complicated of all because we have to buy some buy some suitable transformation. By some suitable transformation, we have to We have to simplify, to simplify or transform the right member. So this, the right member, to simplify the right member. And the right member is f of x plus delta x minus f of x. Okay, we have to transform the right member which is f of x plus delta x minus f of x into a form which has or which contains delta x which contains delta x as a factor as a factor okay so I cannot uh, write that mathematically, but uh, just explain to you no, the third step. So the third step is very important because on the fourth step, we have to divide the whole equation by delta x. Okay, so it will be delta y over delta x is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x again. In the third step, this would uh, now be a uh, transform uh, function or transform expression such that it already has delta x as a factor. Okay, so we divide delta x both sides. And as you can see, if we have divided delta x, then that means that uh, the numerator should also have delta x as a factor so that we could cancel because if you cannot cancel delta x then your division will be uh, undefined because you cannot have delta x is equal to zero as in the denominator so when we di when we have divided delta x we can now go to the fifth step and the fifth step is uh, going back to the definition of the derivative we will now get the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches to 0. So let's get the limit here. 
So the limit of the uh, right side of our equation as delta x approaches to 0. And after getting the limit, of course, we can now find the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, so after getting the limit, this is now equal to the derivative. So let's go ahead and answer some example to illustrate the steps that I have shown. So let's say example number one. I have uh, y is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus x. Okay, so first step. Again, the first step is to simply change y to y plus delta y and x to x plus delta x. So, y plus delta y is equal to x plus delta x cubed uh, plus 2 times x plus delta x squared minus uh, x plus delta x. Okay? So next, solve for delta y. So as I am uh, solving or as I, uh, I am tra transposing y, I can go ahead and expand this. And the expansion would be x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed. And then 2 plus, expand this, so it's a simple uh, binomial expansions. So x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. And then uh, let's distribute the negative sign. So minus x minus delta x, then minus y, which is x cubed plus 2x squared minus x. Let's simplify our uh, equation further. Okay, but if you will uh, already observe, I have your x cube and if I distribute negative x cube, then x cube would cancel out. Okay, so let's uh, continue. 3x squared plus delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x delta x plus 2 delta x squared minus x minus delta x minus 2x squared plus x. Okay. So what do we need to, uh, we can see here that there are uh, things that we can cancel. There are terms that we can cancel. So first of all, we can cancel 2x squared minus 2x squared and we have negative x and positive x. So those are out of the way. But what we are left uh, with now are terms with delta x. Okay, All terms that are left has delta x. So I mean to say we can fulfill step 3. And step 3 is, we should have delta x as a factor. So if we factor out delta x, I would have 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared plus 4x plus 2 delta x minus 1. Okay? And it is equal to delta y. So, fourth step is simply divide the whole equation by delta x. Okay, so delta x cancels out because it is a factor and I can now get the limit of delta y with respect to x as delta x approaches to zero. And as I get the limit, that is already the derivative of y with respect to x. So I have 3x squared plus 3x times 0 plus 0 squared plus 4x plus 2 times 0 minus 1. 
So the simplification, okay, as I simplify, this would already be our final answer. So 3x squared plus 4x minus 1. So that is our final answer. That is the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, another example. So let's say I have So for example number 2, let's say I have uh, y is equal to 1 over x plus 7. Okay? So this is division. So y plus delta y, apply step number 1, is equal to 1 over x plus delta x plus 7. Next step is to solve for delta y. So delta y is equal to 1 over x plus delta x plus 7 minus 1 over y. And 1 over y is equal to x plus 7. So what we can do here is just to uh, combine the two terms. Okay? So, x plus delta x plus 7 times the quantity x plus 7. So, if I divide this one to the first term, x plus 7 would be uh, left. And if I will divide this here, what would be left is the quantity x plus delta x plus 7. So, let's simplify our numerator. So, x plus 7 minus x minus delta x minus 7. Denominator is just the same. x plus delta x plus 7 times the quantity x plus 7. So, in the numerator, we can see that x cancels out and also 7 cancels out, which would leave us with negative delta x okay so we can now go to our step 4 which is divide the whole equation by delta x so delta y over delta x is equal to so I have here negative delta x I di this is the delta x that would be divided Delta x cancels out and would leave negative 1 in the numerator. And the next step is to just get the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches to 0. So the limit of that would be negative 1 x plus 0 plus 7 times x plus 7. So we're now with our we're now uh, down to our final answer. The derivative of y with respect to x is equal to negative one over x plus quantity x plus seven squared.